Hi guys, it's me Lewis, and today I'm here to, uh, I'm here to do a little rant on a particular uh, game that I played, well a demo of it, um, known as Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, yes. Now, as you can see on YouTube, uh, quite quite a few gamers have been talking about it, and I I'm I'm pretty much I'm pretty much on the same page with them. I played it, and I've got to say, it is fucking crap. It's it's by far one of the fucking worst Marvel vs. Capcom games I played in history. It's even worse than Marvel vs. Capcom Three, and. And it's a good thing that it's a good thing that Capcom put out this fucking demo because, oh god, it, there's so many fucking things wrong with this game, both visual wise and gameplay wise. Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, there is so many fucking things wrong with this game, from visuals uh, to gameplay, and it's just, oh god, what the fuck have you done, Capcom? And this, this right here, right? Because when, when I start, when I start the game, right? Because I thought, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're gonna like go back to like the Marvel versus Capcom one and two type of like you know, um, the right speed of gameplay, but no, it's it if it, it's so they made it so difficult to perform fucking combos now. You can't, you cannot perform, um. A fuck of like because in yeah the entire the, the entire premise of gameplay of of the Marvel of the Marvel vs Capcom series is to is to combo your opponent um, for as much damage as possible from going from like from like one for like for like two combo hits to like fucking um it's like a hundred and hundred and ten fucking combos you know what I mean that's how that's how high it can usually go up to or, or, poss or possibly more if you're lucky but. In 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 Marvel in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, however, I could I could only get like like fucking ten hits. Like what the f like what? Like ten fucking combo hits, and that's it. You, you can't get a hundred anymore. Like right, because everything everything feels very toned down now. The now the the amount the amount of characters like in the game because the high the highest was was free, which obviously which was which obviously was from Marvel vs. Capcom Three. And and obviously, and obviously they tone it down to two because he wants to go back to like you know two two v two tag team, which you know okay very understandable that I, I can I can easily understand that uh, perfectly fine, but like holy shit the gameplay is so fucking crap. You you cannot I mean you fucking cannot perform high combos at all. It's impossible now, and. And recently, recently there was an interview with 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 uh, with two of the developers who were working on this game, and they were just pulling fucking excuses, um, f uh, for for saying that oh uh, oh the X Men characters are are recognizable, are recognizable my fucking ass mate. Let me tell you something right now, Deadpool, X Men, so De yeah sorry Deadpool, um. Uh, Wolverine, sorry, what, what the fuck did I say? X Men, I don't apologize. Deadpool, Wolverine, Psylocke, um, Magneto, um, Storm, Beast, Cyclops, Gambus, um, Morph. They are the most recognized, and also, and also Jubilee, who's, who's actually one, who's actually one of my all-time favorite uh, X Men characters, by the way. They are, they are the most recognizable characters in the Marvel universe, and yet. You're, 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 and yet you're, and the reason, and the reason why you don't want to fucking put them in this game is because two fucking reasons, right? One, this game is a complete fucking cash grab for, for the, for the, for the upcoming Marvel, um, for the, for the Marvel Avengers Inf Infinity War, right? Which is a film that's coming out pretty soon. Number two, you, the re the reason why you didn't want to put X Men characters in this game, Capcom, is because you're too fucking lazy to pay for the license for it. Because 20th Century Fox actually owns a small half of that, owns a small half of the rights to the X Men franchise. So, what, what do you say about that, Capcom? Jack shit yeah, because you don't know what else to say about that. Well, 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 you know, Lewis, I think, I, I, th I think it's because of it. I, you shut your fucking mouth, dickhead. Because let me tell you something right now. Capcom hasn't learned a single fucking thing from Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Street Fighter fucking 5. And the roster of this fucking game, right? The roster of this fucking game feels so fucking dry, and it feels like a copy and paste from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with some slight new characters there and there. And that's it. 
Like, like where, where the fuck is Venom? Where the fuck is um is is uh, is the is um Edward Falcon or Ryoma or Jack from Power Stone? Where's uh where's Leon? Where's where where's Nemesis? Where's Tyrant? Where's where's Jack Baker? You know, where where are all these fucking characters? Like. This feels so fucking toned down, and it actually. And when I when I play this game, I said, I said to myself, "Do you know something? It feels like Capcom really wants to die. Like they don't want to make games anymore. I think the the, the problem is is that, is that they've got so sick and tired of of making games now. They just they just want to die now. They've got nothing else to do with with, with, with themselves anymore. And yet, and yet, and yet, and yet, just the shocking thing is right." Right, there's, there's three fighting games, right, that are coming out pretty soon, and 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 one of them, right, is is actually stealing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity's hype, and and do you know what that one is, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which obviously which is actually the one anime that I haven't watched in, God knows how fucking long, um, that game is doing a much better job than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, and yet. And yet the, the game is not even out yet, and it's only 20% complete. It looks good, and it plays good. It It's doing so much better than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. And yet... And yet, I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, Arc System Works is like, is like giving Capcom saying, ha ha, fuck you, our game's doing better than you. Ha 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 ha. That's, that's literally what it is. And Capcom's just like, eh, please buy our game. You, you can, you can spend, you can spend twenty dollars on, on Sigma and, uh, and, and, uh, and Ultra on Sigma. Separately. Yeah. No. No, I'm 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 just I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go with Arc System Works because they they've made a much better game than you. Oh please come back. We we've got we've got we've got we've got Ant Man. Who gives a shit about Ant Man? No one fucking likes him. No, no one no one gives a shit about him. I mean, if Deadpool was in there, then yeah, then yeah, happy days. But the pro the problem is the roster looks so fucking weak. And let's get let's get and let's get to the visuals of this game as well, right? Despite the fact that the roster is just Oh god, it, it feels so fucking empty because Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 had had the biggest roster it throughout the entire series, but but let's let's get let's get let's get back to the fucking uh, visuals, right? Some of the characters look okay, while three of them look like what the fuck? Like, I'm not kidding you, right? Captain America, Dante, and Chun Li. Oh god, what the fuck did you do to them, Capcom? Like like no joke, right? Capcom looks like, right because Capcom fucked up on on Captain America, right? He looks like he looks like a fucking alien because his eyes are like sticking out like right like around here. And fucking Chun Li, oh god, she looks like the miserable piece of crap that she is. She's like she's like this. And don't say he looks like fucking plastic, like. Like so much surgery has gone into him after after, after after that fucking atrocious reboot that he was in. Oh god, just what the fuck? And and I'm not I'm not kidding you, right? Every single character in the story mode, because they show off like, like 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 a little story demo show, right? Which by the way, the story in that game is just it's 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 fucking boring. Like there's no fucking point into it, but. Every character in that story are showing zero emotion. They're just like this. Like that's like blank faces, nothing. They feel they feel so fucking dead inside. And I feel I feel sorry for anyone who is a fan of these characters because look, look what Capcom has done to them. Look what look what they've done to Chun Li. Look what they've done to fucking Captain America and Dante. They look fucking ugly as shit, and yet Chun Li looks way better in Street Fighter Five. And yet, and yet that, that's one that's one of the crappiest Street Fighter games in history. But. Like it, it, this, this, this one. Like I said, this, 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 this one feels like Capcom doesn't want to make games anymore. They really want to fucking die. Like, like the, the, it feels like they're just sick and tired of just making IPs now. Like, like if that, if that's the case, Capcom, just close your fucking doors. Just 
just say, just say, yeah, we've we've had enough. We've had enough of making games now. We're gonna sell our IPs to fucking uh, I don't know Sega, Namco, you know Konami because we're dumb as shit. Um, uh, Activision because we're dumb as shit. Uh, possibly Microsoft and Sony. You know, that's what that's what it legit feels like. It feels like it feels like the company just doesn't want to make shit anymore. And the one thing that really pisses me off though is the fan base. Because a lot, quite quite a lot of them have been saying, I've been saying like, if you, if you don't if you don't buy this game or play it, that that means you're not that means you're not a true fighting game fan. Fuck off, dickhead. Because you're the only fucking reason why this shit keeps on getting fucking made. And 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 here's and here's the most fucked up part about this, right? Certain people who are who are very who are very close with Capcom, right? Like like F Champ and uh, and Justin Wong, right? Those two fuckers have been promoting the game constantly. And I mean constantly promoting it. And, and I'm, I'm, ta- cause, I'm telling you right now, right, because Capcom Capcom now owns their asses because Capcom knows that they're, that, they're, that they're fucking up and they don't want to fucking admit it. So they need they need their pro fighting game players like F Champ and Justin Wong to to push this shit. And I'm, 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 and and honestly, right? If you if you see those two fuckers play Street Fighter Five or Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, right? You can see the body language on their faces, like they don't they don't like it. They're like, uh, uh, like they don't feel like they're playing a, a fantastic game from their childhood. That they feel like they're playing like like a, like a shitty low budget version of of the game that, that that they enjoyed in the past and of course of course f champ and justin wong and several other people who are close with capcom aren't going to admit the game is shit but the the main issue is is that is that they they're trapped now because they they don't they don't want to lose the money that capcom is giving them and and here's the thing right because dragon ball fighter z um, Omen of Sorrow and and Rising Spirit, which which, which by the way, Omen of Sorrow and Rising Rising Spirit are, are, are two fine games that are coming out pretty soon. Those three fucking games look a thousand times better than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. They really fucking do, both gameplay and visual wise. And yet, and yet, and yet, I am looking forward to playing Omen of Sorrow. I don't give a shit if that's a low budget fighting game. It it looks and plays way fucking better than than this fucking crap. So yeah, the, the demo of this game is fucking bullshit, and I'm actually glad that Capcom put this out. It's shit. It's garbage. No one fucking likes it. Just like, just like, what the fuck is Cap? Like, what the fuck is Capcom doing to themselves? Like, like I said, it feel it feels like Capcom just wants to fucking die. They don't want to make shit anymore. And that's the sad part about it. So. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, people have cancelled their pre-orders, and yet people are saying fuck this game. I'm going with fucking Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Omen of Sorrow, Rising Spirits, um, and several of the fighting games that, poss- that that could possibly be coming in the future. But yeah, um, that, that's all I, that's that's all I say, guys. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and tell and tell me what what, what do you think of um of the of Marvel of Marvel versus Capcom Infinity from the demo, the roster, the visuals, the gameplay. Tell me what you think of that. Is it is it good to you? Is it is it is it bad to you? You know, you know what I mean? Just let me know, okay? Okay guys, peace out.